Like a hell cut. <laughs> Hey everyone, LEGO Veteran here with another Harry Potter set to review, the Hogwarts Clock Tower. Let's move on to the box. Here we have Hermione, Harry Potter, Ron, Fleur de la Cour, Cedric Diggory, Victor Crumb, Albus Dumbledore, and Madame Maxim. The main build is the clock tower. The play features of the set are a crank to move the clock, somehow you can make them dance, a bedroom for them to lay down in, the bathhouse, And I believe that's Albus Dumbledore's office. First off is a minifigs. So as always we start off with Harry Potter with his medium sized legs so he's a little shorter than the adult figures in this set but not as short as a child figure. I really enjoy getting Harry Potter in his different outfits especially with his fancy torso piece with the bow tie on it. Let's spin him around to get a backside view. Not much on this side, but I will spin his hairpiece around to view the alternate face. There you go. Next we have Hermione in her Yule Ball outfit. They made her the same height as Harry Potter, that's why I've left him on here. But they did not give her actual legs. Instead they gave her a block piece with the bottom of her dress printed on it, and a 1x2 to be what I can only assume is her shoes. The only thing this dress piece there is no printing on the back side. But other than that this is an amazing figure with her dress printing Let's spin her around so we can see her backside and reveal her alternate face. Maybe a more upset face would have been better considering the events that happened during this part in the movie. Then there's Ron in his hand-me-down outfit with the same legs as Harry Potter. His torso print is actually very detailed with frill coming out at the neck and buttons coming down the center. Now I'll spin him around. You can see more frill and flowers on his backside. Here's his alternate face. It is generally a face I wouldn't expect him to have, but I'm glad they gave it to him. After Ron is Fleur de la Cour with her nice torso print in a gunmetal color. It just sucks that Lego couldn't put a design on the lower part of her dress with the new special dress piece that puts her at normal adult size minifig. Her hair piece is a light yellow to simulate her blonde hair. I will spin her around to show her backside. Her backside is still following the same pattern as her front torso. I'll spin her hair around to show her alternate face. Then there's Victor Crumb with his perfect torso form. 
I like that they went as far as putting detail on his belt buckle. I also like that they put fur print on his torso, but his face print is smiling, and I just can't get over that. That's not how I remember him. But we continue, and I will spin him around. And you can see more fur printing on the back side of his torso. His alternate face is the face I expected him to have. Just fits him a lot better. Here's the last of the senior students, Cedric Diggory. Looking really good, kind of reminds me of James Bond. Has a detailed tuxedo with a bow tie. I will spin him around to the back side. To see he has the same printing as Harry Potter and reveal his alternate face. Second to last is Albus Dumbledore with his highly fashionable violet robes on with his new robe piece, this time having print on its front and its back. His headgear is dual molded with his brown hat leading to his gray hair. Here is Albus Dumbledore without his hair or beard, revealing his nice white torso. I definitely prefer his face with the beard. Spinning him around. I notice the other face has spectacles and just wonder if Lego did so on purpose because this one does not. Finally is Madame Maxim. She is much taller than in the adult size figures as you can see on the right and enormous compared to the Harry Potter size figures as you can see on the left. I love her exclusive print they gave her lower half with the sloped piece. It kind of shimmers in the light. I will spin her around now to reveal her backside. And as every figure in this set has, her alternate face. Now we are on the main build. I will start off with the front of the whole thing. As you can see, the designer went above and beyond to avoid using all of one color, with the tans, the browns, and the minor gray bricks. I also enjoy that either side of the clock tower is not mirrored to each other. Then we go to the top with the clock itself. There's a crank in the back that moves the hands like this. I wish they had a gear that went in here to make both hands move like a clock. Then above there, there's a roof, which is quite enjoyable to build. Spinning around to the side of the wall is just a smaller attachment with multiple stickers. Here, 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 and there. As we keep spinning, As you keep spinning, you get a dance floor built with these blue gear pieces that when you put a figure on the white tiles, you can make your figures dance. Unfortunately, there's no crank, 
So you must do this manually. There are some table builds that are rather complex for their size. I enjoy the crystal decorations on the tables. It also came with a Christmas tree. Moving on, starting from the top of the tower is the hospital wing. The crank to the handles on the clock are right here. I like the inclusion of the sheets or dividers here that give the patient privacy, along with not one, but two hospital beds, a desk, and a lamp thrown in here. Now we move on the floor to the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. It is very tiny for a classroom, but still enjoyable with all the detail added in here. Starting from the left, you have the chalkboard sticker. In the center, you have what looks like a lamp with a specimen jar. Moving to the right of that is a desk with an ink jar and a quill on it, with some potions behind it, and there seems to be a book here on the table. Let's open it up. It looks to be the Wingardium Leviosa spell. Leviosa, not Leviosa. Below the classroom is an entrance hall with the goblet of fire to the right, and to the left is an empty chest, so there's no need to open it for you. Moving on to the smaller tower, at the top you got Dumbledore's office. I didn't enjoy the stickers placed here, here, here and here to represent bookcases but I did enjoy the stickers in the back with the store sorting hat right there and the phoenix right there Dumbledore has a throne like chair to go along with his desk in front of him there's a pearl gold pen quill and a pearl gold lamp with a sticker here in the front To give it a more desirable look, there's a sword here that Harry Potter used to kill the Basilisk. Below Dumbledore's office is the bathroom Harry Potter took the golden egg and put underwater. The best part about this build is the stained glass window here. The stained glass window is actually a sticker. You want to make sure you place this just right. I wish they printed this instead of making it a sticker. There you go, that's my final summer LEGO Harry Potter set of 2019. I'm LEGO Veteran, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in my next review. Thanks!